It was my 19th birthday on the day of Ash Wednesday in 1983. I recall sitting on the parents' front porch watching the fire fronts at night out to the east. So that's my first real memory of bushfires. Uh, Christmas holidays for my family would be driving through bushfire areas on a regular basis. Probably every three or four years you'd be driving through country areas where there'd be bushfires. Victoria is one of the highest fire risk areas globally. Bushfire season in Victoria on average has been seven days longer per year for the last 10 years. In 2009, Victoria's devastating Black Saturday bushfires killed 173, Australia's biggest loss of life from a bushfire. Black Saturday was in 2009. It followed a long period of drought in Victoria. On that day, I was in the State Control Centre liaising between um, the emergency services there and the electricity utilities, so I had a kind of a front seat to what was happening. After the Black Saturday bushfires, there was a Victoria Bushfire Royal Commission. They established that five fires were attributed to electricity assets. It gave us the impetus to look at what starting fires, what potentially starts fires and how to improve that performance. And it's driven a lot of innovation and investments, which is where the SPU comes in. On the day of the fires, I'd been out windsurfing for the late afternoon and I was packing up here in the evening as the sun went down and all of a sudden the wind change came through and we had burning embers from the fire floating down from the sky around me. After the events of the Black Saturday fire, we were all very concerned about wildfires. At an industry dinner soon afterwards, we were all talking about what could be potentially done to reduce the risks of wildfires in the electrical network. And surge arresters came up during the discussion. This is where the concept of the SPU was born. This is a surge arrestor. The surge arrestor is used to protect electrical equipment from lightning strikes and over voltages. However, if the over voltage or lightning strike is significant, the surge arrestor can break down thermally and emit sparks, potentially causing wildfires. This is the SPU device. And the SPU device attaches to the bottom of the surge arrestor. It senses when it's reached thermal overload and disconnects it from the grid, therefore preventing it from emitting sparks which may cause wildfires. This here is a tree that we've just found. It's sitting about 20 metres away from where the SPU surge arrestor sits on a pole. And as you can see, it's been burnt. It's had some fire activity recently over the years. And it just shows you what we're doing here. And the fact that the SPU is here to try and prevent bushfires. Currently we're trialling remote monitoring devices on the SPU so that we're able to instantaneously identify when the SPU is operated. Apart from Australia, we have the SPUs installed throughout the United States. Climate change and what the future experience is going to be, it's only expected to increase over time. We're going to have hotter days, we're going to have stronger winds, we're going to have more fire danger days. A focus on continual improvement is key. Melbourne's a lovely place to grow up in and be a part of. To protect that so that it's there for our kids and the future generations is a great thing.